Okay. Hey guys, how you guys doing today? Hope everybody's doing good. And hopefully everybody's um, doing your affirmations and, you know, getting those neuroplasticity of your brain changed up so you can start manifesting uh, what you guys truly desire. All right? Um, so let me begin. Before, before I begin, though, I want to talk about just a couple things, guys. I wanna, I've want to i been getting a lot of questions about the coaching program that I do. I, I do coach, but I only coach 10 students or per time or per semester, I like to say. And I've been getting a lot of emails about it. And, um, guys, I'm not ignoring it, but ignoring you guys is just that I'm, I'm currently... I am booked up right now with students. I only could I only could take ten students right now, and the um, the next availability probably somewhere towards the middle or end of the month. So um, I'm not ignoring you guys. I'd love to coach, but I, I take can only do ten students, and um, I'm sure probably Edward has his hands full as well. But um, just want to let you guys know that right now, okay? So I'm not not ignoring you guys. It's just that with ten students, I try to be as detailed to help them manifest as possible, all right? Okay, with that, with that said, um, let's begin, okay. So today I wanna to talk a little bit about your belief structures, what is a belief? And there's a, another term we use in quantum physics, it's called the um, quantum wave function. So what is a belief? A belief is basically a statement that you accept to be true or something that you accept exists. That is what a belief is, all right? Now, the thing with beliefs are, beliefs are very powerful because beliefs actually shape and change your reality, all right? So belief is having an acceptance of something to be true or something that you accept as fact or uh, to exist, all right? So when you believe something, you're really in tune. You really, what, you're, what you're really saying is when you believe something is that you accept it. It is, to you as a fact, it is truth, and you intend to make it your real, reality. So what I do here, guys, I, I show you guys how to manifest things, and I use the quantum mechanics to put it together, the science with the consciousness, so that you can see how it works from a scientific aspect so that it will ins, ins, kind of insulate your mind and your brain to see that hey this is how reality really is this is how things work this is not just he's talking and he's just saying what it comes what's coming from his mind i'm actually showing you processes and theories of how everything works in our universe and um you guys now should all have all have the awareness that everything is energy. So we have the four forces I'll go over with you again. They are um, vibration, they are frequency, they are magnetism, <clears throat> all right? And then we have uh, energy, all right? So those are your, your four basic frequencies. And now your lives, your thinking, your thoughts, this is how everything is based on now so you everything you start to think and everything that you start to perceive and percept are all energy and quantum mechanics will prove that to you and let's talk about what the wave what the quantum wave function is basically a quant the quantum wave function is in layman terms is basically scientists or physicists having the um, <clears throat> the ability to predict with certain probability or possibility of a certain particular particle or atomic particle in space time at a certain place so basically it's the prediction or mathematic prediction of this particle a being here at this particular time and space or this particle will be here when I observe it or this particle will be there with mat with mathematical um, accuracy that's what a, a wave function is so basically the ability to determine with probability or possibility that this will exist here. When I look at it, it will be here even when I look at it. That's what it is. 
So consciousness now, your consciousness basically, let's talk about consciousness. Consciousness consists of two parts, all right? So when I say consciousness, you, you always hear me refer to the higher self, and you always hear me refer to your intuition, all right? So what consciousness basically is, is consciousness consists of two parts. It consists of your intuition, and then the other part is your consciousness, your subconscious. So it consists of the subconscious, and it consists of your intuition. And these two together merge to become one, and um, that is what consciousness basically is. It's your subconscious and your intuition, I'll refer to as your higher self. Together they work in tune to produce manifestation, to produce your reality, and they get their information from the quantum field, which I call the sea of possibilities, or the quantum world, or God, universe, I am. So what ends up happening is that quantum field exists remember, with all the possibilities that you and I can ever exist, can ever think about. Quantum mechanics showed us that, that these particles are there. They create everything that you and I see, and they exist in these energetic fields. They're like, like they're waiting for you to go scoop them up, so to speak. It's like an ocean of particles with every possibility. I mean, when I say possibility, what I'm literally talking about is I'm literally talking about every outcome or every desire that you can possibly imagine has already existed for you. And you pull this from the quantum field through your consciousness. Source energy, God puts is there. What he does is downloads that information to your subconscious, and your subconscious downloads into your mind. Let me say this, this is very important for you guys to remember. When you have a desire to accomplish something or a desire to win so, so, such amount in the lottery or a desire to have a house or desire, any desire you have, the universe never ever gives you a desire that you cannot accomplish, okay? Let me, put it, let me say it again. The universe never ever gives you a desire that you can never accomplish. So what does that mean, Mark? Basically it means this. Whatever you have in your heart, Whatever you desire, whatever you see yourself to do, that was put into you from birth, from conception by the universe. It was downloaded into your consciousness. That means if you have a desire or a, or a feeling or to be wealthy, to be a billionaire, a million dollars, to have ten million dollars, that is what you can and will accomplish. Because remember, the universe never gives you a desire that you cannot accomplish. It doesn't work like that. So if you have a desire in your mind and heart right now, that is a clear indication that that is meant for you to accomplish it. Okay? Some people can have a desire to be a billionaire, have $20 million. Another person could just have a desire to be okay, to live a normal life, to, to just have you know, a nice house or just a couple dollars or just live his life. That is his, that's it. That is his desire that was put into him by the universe. So it, in effect, you accomplish it. So if you have a desire in your mind and heart to say a, you want to win a billion dollars or whatever, never ever think it's too much because guess what? That was downloaded or given to you through your higher self to let you know that, hey, this is in my heart and this, this is in my mind. So it's basically telling you that you are able to accomplish it. So again, when you have a desire, a thought or anything in your mind that you feel or you're driven to accomplish, Guess what? The universe gave it to you so that you can accomplish it. Alright? So that should be a clear indication to you that when you have something in your mind for money or whatever, it, me it literally means it is part of you. It is meant for you to have it. It is meant for you to create it and hence the desire comes in. So that is a key point you want to, I want you guys to get. Okay? Now, the next thing we want to talk about now is go back into your, your consciousness and the, and the creating or manifesting part of your um, desires. So we talk about belief. So belief is basically just having the ability or, the, or, the, or the, the awareness that something is true. And the core element of to make belief work is quantum mechanics. Let's go back to quantum mechanics. So I talk about the quantum wave function, right? how you can detect, how a scientist can um, pretty much predict with mathematical accuracy of the certain 
particle. Remember these little, little quantum particles are what creates everything around you. So guess what now? Your belief or your consciousness, your consciousness um, collapses these, what I call the wave function duality. Your consciousness basically collapses these particles into behaving in a certain way that you expect them, expect them to believe. So in other words, your belief create and shapes your reality. That's it. So if you believe you will, you will win a million dollars, or if you believe that your life should be of prosperity, or you believe that you are destined to be a millionaire, then guess what? It is already in you, given to the universe, and you will accomplish that. But what stops many individuals from actually taking their belief and creating it into reality is your own mind, your own consciousness. Your conscious part of your mind blocks it from going into the subconscious, and you weren't even aware of this. That's why people will struggle, they will try so hard, they will use law of attraction, and they will get nowhere, and they'll scratch their head and be in confusion and say, I'm doing everything they said to do. They said to think high thoughts, to focus nice, to be positive, but it's not coming true. It's not coming through because you have you haven't have an awareness of how the creation process works and now you guys know that creation process begins through the mind through your subconscious through the consciousness through the brain then your heart creates the emotion and the emotion merged with the thought will manifest into a reality so the affirmations that i talk about the brainwave affirmations those are your first key steps to release the bondage or release the blocks. Because once you open those up, then you will have access into the subconscious mind and the subconscious mind will create. Guys, remember now, all creation is and all manifestation basically is, is just your belief, your thoughts, influencing that quantum wave function and turning those particles into the house, the money, the, the car. Because in essence, remember guys, Everything is made and comprised of these little particles, these energetic particles. They make you and I. They make everything. So, in essence, everything starts from the, the creation process. And these particles are made of energy. So, there we go back again to energy. So, what, what, what is energy? Remember, energy can never be created or destroyed. It can be transferred. It can be manipulated. Okay? You can change the vibration. You can change the force. So, in essence, everything that you are desire and or want is already there. All you have to do now is use your mind and then you can influence, you can change it, you can manipulate it, and you can create it into whatever you want. And then when you see the finished product, when you see the house or this car or you can see the money in your bank account, all that is is the finishing process of you manipulating those quantum particles to produce a perceived reality, a feel of a real thing. You notice I use the word perceived, because remember, you only really perceive your reality through your natural five senses in your brain. That is all reality is. So when you see that you're touching this car, I'm touching this car, I'm touching the money, you're just basically, everything you're touching is energy, but because these particles are arranged in different building blocks. They look to form the money. They look to form the house. They look to form the car. But in essence, they're all energy. But your brain just perceives them as an image. So that's why creation is very easy. Because all you're doing is you're using your consciousness to manipulate and change things. And it comes into your existence like that. All right? I'm going to touch on meditation now. So what is meditation? Basically, what meditation does is meditate. meditation basically aligns or balance the left hemisphere, the right hemisphere of your brain. That's what it does. It balances them and brings them into an alignment. That's what meditation does. It merges the two sides of your brain, your left hemisphere, your right hemisphere. They become complete. They become balanced. They become aligned. And remember, once you have alignment, you are in direct line to receive your desires. So that's why meditation is excellent. Let me tell you, I'm going to show you how powerful meditation is. I'm going to tell you a story. I'm sure you all heard of this lady. Her name is Cynthia Strafford, right? She, she manifested a $170-something million, dollar, uh, mega million jackpot. 
few years back. And it took her six months to do it. Remember I talked about the time delay and how we talk about how you can quicken or quicken your pace to manifest what you desire? Well, she did it. You know what she did? She meditated. The meditation brought her her winnings in six months. She won the exact amount. I mean, we talk about specific spe specifics and how much. She wrote down the specific amount of money she intended to manifest, right? She, I think she put it under a pillow and she slept with it. And then she meditated. She meditated. First, she started out meditating five days a week to get the energy flow. Then she, then she lowered her meditation, but she meditated at least three times a week. And then six months, she had her number down. I think it was 180. Don't quote me on that, but she had the number down. And when the mega million jackpot rose to, say, 180, that's the number she had. She knew then it was time to play. She bought one ticket. Boom. Millionaire. All right? That is the power of meditation. So if anybody tells you that you cannot do it or it is impossible, you must refract from those type of people because they are not aware of how the creation process works. Yes, $112 million. Thank you. Okay, that is what she manifested. And she did it in six months because she used meditation and visualization. So that shows you how powerful your subconscious mind is. And that shows you that anything you desire is already there for you and you can create it. The only problem we have as humans is we have a problem with time. Time to us really is the defeating factor because with time, we feel it's taking too long and we give up. But now that you are aware what the time delay is, because we talk about time, all time delay is, is basically is that your desire has already been completed. It's just the time is now the universe is searching the frequency to match to bring it to you. So now you have an awareness what time is, so now you know time shouldn't be an issue now because you know that once you put the thought out, it is already created because thought waves are faster than the light waves or light particles, all right? So that is what... Yeah, meditate. When you meditate, guys, listen. All med meditation. I'm gonna clear up meditation for you because we have a lot of stereotypes about. You have it's it's complicated. It's difficult. It is. You have to put your cross your legs together. You gotta put your hands a certain distance. You gotta do all this stuff and da da da. No, this is what this. I'm gonna teach you how to meditate. Very simple, all right? When you meditate, all you have to do is be in a relaxed position. Have your have your body elevated. Have your legs straight out. You want to be straight out and elevated because guess what? You want to have a natural energy conduit to flow through you so what you meditate you have both hands at your side you're in a relaxed state you're leaning back and then all you're doing is you're closing your eyes and you're watching through your mind's eye you you break your breath you're just watching yourself breathe and you're just not thinking your mind is blank you're focusing on your breath you're focusing on inhale exhale inhale exhale that that is all meditation is and you can do it to music but as long as you start focusing, and here's the key. I say do about 10 minutes of meditation. So you want to do five minutes of the breathing, of inhaling, exhaling, all right? That'll get the mind clear. That'll get the, yeah, yes, those, those negative thought frequencies out. So after five minutes of that, then you do the other five minutes of your, visu your, visu uh, your visualization session. Then you start to visualize what you want to manifest, what you desire to manifest, okay? That is all meditation is. And then once you do that, you quicken the pace to whatever you want to desire. You don't have to med you don't have to meditate, but I mean, if you want it to cut in half the time, then I would recommend you to meditate because that will bring your desires to a lot faster. So you don't have to be a proficient guru or top meditator. Do it's very simple. It's already in in inborn in you. That's how you meditate. I mean, that's how you can manifest whatever you desire, the money or whatever. Okay. So that is it. But the key to making your reality creation is your beliefs or paradigm structure. You have to believe it. When you believe it, you will see it. It's not when I see it, I believe it. You will never. You have to believe it because belief collapses those quantum particles, the observer. You are the observer. You have dominion. You have control over these quantum particles. And then... Your belief, your belief collapses that and it creates your reality. And belief is very simple. Look, if, if your life is going a certain way right now and you're not happy, all you have to do is change your belief. Change your belief to something that will please you or will benefit you, all right? 
if you believe that this 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 store right here is unlucky or I never get the winning tickets from this store, you know what you can do? You can change your belief and make that store lucky. All you have to say, change your belief and say, you know what? This store is going to be the store that's going to produce the winner and I'll be with But if you believe that this store is unlucky or you're not getting winning tickets, guess what? Nine times out of ten, you create your reality. It's not going to give you the winning tickets. You're not going to get it because guess what? Your belief. If you believe... I cannot get this certain type of person or this type of guy or this type of girl. Why can't I never get this type of... Guess what? Belief. You either believe you're not going to get it, you're not going to get it. So what you do, change your belief to what you want. Okay, I believe I can get this type of person. I believe I can get this. I believe I can do. Guess what? You will get it. It's that simple. Because all belief does is, remember, your subconscious mind is the creator. So what, when you speak and when you thought, your subconscious mind will pick that up. And remember, it universe works off of your dominant emotion. So if your emotion is doubt or I can't get it or I don't think it will, it will manifest this the circumstance to people and it will bring it to you to mirror and say, hey, this is what you're showing me, so this is what I have to give you. But if you change it to something that will serve you, it goes the same way. Okay, this is what you're showing me, this is what I'll give you. So the universe does not is not partial, it does not care, so to speak, it does not judge. It just delivers what you desire with your emotions, okay? All right. How often you should do the affirmations? Do the affirmations until you get the result you desire, okay? Do your affirmations until you get the result you desire. Once you get the result you desire, you can stop your affirmations. But keep doing them until you get the results you desire, because the results you desire, because remember... It's already created for you in the non-physical, in the quantum world. So what you're doing, you're, the time delay is in effect, and that is what you are waiting on. So there's no reason you should stop because it's already coming for you, all right? Now let me talk about the reality we live in now. So a lot of, a lot of us here, we play the lottery, all right? And um, a lot of members here, we all positive, good energy in this group. So remember I talked about, I said, the universe will always conspire to produce what your dominant feeling or thought is in your reality. Remember we talked about that? So we all here, we play the lottery. So what is a lottery? Lottery consists of mathematics and numbers and sequences. So we, a lot of us will all start to see dreams of numbers. We'll start to have this vision. We'll have to get these warning signs. And that is because our world is comprised of winning or manifesting a lottery win. So therefore the universe will pick up our dominant frequency, which is mathematics numbers lottery money and it will collapse <clears throat> the quantum field and it will create the reality around money around seeing numbers giving you dreams of numbers because that is what our dominant thinking is our dominant emotion emittance is so therefore the universe will create your reality around that and I'll, here i'll give you some examples so with, i'm going to use myself to give an example so because we all play the lottery me included and I win a lot. So what happens now is my mind is in tune to my reality now. So my reality will comprise of people, places, events. They'll start to help me to manifest or help me win more money in the lottery. And I'll give you an example of one. Here we go. About three months ago, I was doing a little shopping. And I met this, and I seen a guy, it was an old friend of mine. And he came up to me, and he just, we seen each other. Remember guys, when you meet people, places, and events, it's not coincidence, okay? It's there for a purpose. Every, there's nothing as such as coincidence. Everything happens for a reason, a higher purpose. So I, I see this guy as an old friend of mine, and we met up. And I was like, hey, what's going on? We talked and everything. He's like, you know what? I've told this story before, but I'll tell it again to new members. He's like, hey, Mark, you know what, man? My mom had a dream about you. I was like, your mom? Yeah, he's like, he's like my mom passed away like 15 years ago. I was like, really? Sorry, you know, sorry to hear that. I didn't know his mom passed away. He's like, my mom had a dream last night. I said, really? He said, my mom dreamt, told me that this number, uh, 353, likes him, right? And in the dream, he told his mom, he says, mom, I don't know what that number is. And his mom turned around and said, okay, tell your friend that plays the lotto, 353 likes him, which is me. She says, oh, you're talking about Mark. She says, yes. Keep in mind, I've never met this lady in my life. She knows, for somebody, she knows her name and my name in the dream. So we started talking, and I was a little perplexed, and I said, okay. 
So uh, he says 353. Three. I said 353. Three. He says, yeah, she says to tell you 353 three likes you. He said, maybe you should play the number. I said, yeah, you know, I'm going to play the number. So I go, I play the number uh, first day, and it didn't come out. So the second day, you know, here in uh, Florida, we have two draws. You know, you have the midday draw, you have the evening draw. So I was running errands, and I decided that I would skip the midday draw for the number, and I'd go play it in the evening draw, which is 353. So I'm here driving my car. I'm on the uh, I-95, and I'm driving. The midday play comes out around 1 o'clock, and it's around 12.30, and I'm driving my car. I was going to play the number, but I plan to play it in the evening. So I'm driving my car here on the I-95. And while I'm driving, another car speeds past me and then merges right over into my lane. It cuts right behind me. I have to push my brakes because the guy cuts so fast. But that, but here's the a, here's a, here's a important thing. When he cuts so fast and he was directly behind me, my eyes glanced at his license plate. And guess what the number on the license plate was? 353. Three. What are the chances? This is your listener. What are the chances of driving in South Florida, a big highway, a dream with 353, and a car with the license plate pull right in front of you with 353? And it wasn't like 533. It was the exact way. 353 pulled right in front of me. Now, because I'm aware of my reality and I'm aware that the universe works and conspires to produce what I want, lottery, money, I knew that was a sign. So you know what I did? I pulled over to the next gas station immediately. It was 12.45. I said, hey, give me 10 bucks straight. It's $500 per winner. So 10 bucks times five. That was quite a bit of money. I took half the money and I looked my friend up and I said, here, this is half of yours because you just helped me to manifest something or more money in the lot. See? That is how the universe works, guys. It will bring people, places, events to produce the reality that you put out dominant. So never take anything for granted or think it's just coincidence. Here's a key point. The odds of winning the lottery are something millions of, uh, of uh, one in a million, one in, one in two million, one million. You know the odds of what just happened to me. You have a better chance of winning the lottery three times in the same week what just what just what just occurred the fact that i met a person that had a random dream about me a mom that i never met a number that three five feet i'm driving on a highway the chance of a specific car pulling right in front of me with the license plate number three five three boom that is just examples of how your reality will be created because of your dominant thought so everything works to better you or to help you because the universe will always conspire to help and to give you what you desire okay so those are how your belief structure will work let me touch on one one other point i want to go back to the money issue money issue when we talk about money so money is just frequency just like i said now keep in mind, we're all familiar with um, analog. Remember a few years ago, we have the analog signal, and now we have the digital signal into our television sets. So analog and digital are the same frequencies, right? But what is the difference? Okay, An analog signal is just more smooth. A digital signal comes in more blocks. That's why if your television, you have the digital television or the, the digital satellite, you'll see when it when it when the picture goes out, it goes, it comes out, it comes in in blocks and waves, and it goes out. The analog version comes in scrambled ways, but they are the same signal or same frequency. So the digital picture comes in a lot more clearer, right? It's more precise, it's more clear, it's more sharper, okay? The analog signal is not that clear or sharper. So here we go. We talk about money, frequency. Now the penny, you could put, you could, you could, you could put the penny as the analog signal, and you could put the million dollars as the digital signal. But here's the key. They are both the same frequencies. What? takes that analog signal and makes it a digital signal is the ampli amplitude or the amplification of the gigahertz or the hertz meaning means the amplification of the frequency so that's why I said the money thing is when you have a penny is the same frequency as a million dollars but what takes it up is your specifics your thought you change it from a 
penny and you put into a specific request to the universe and the universe amps the signal up, hence creating the million dollars. Hence the digi digital signal. But in essence, they are all the same frequency. They're not different. They're just different amplification or different frequency raises, okay? So that is how the universe will always conspire to bring you things. Now I want to touch on the, your subconscious or your higher self. So once you start using your affirmations, guys, and you start producing, your brain now will start to release your natural abilities. Some of you will develop abilities that can detect things that are happening in the now. Because remember, we said time exists in the now. The future is right now. The past is just a memory that's a former now that's stored in your mind. But everything is happening now. So some of you guys will develop your extrasensory perceptions. You could be clairvoyant. You could be a little bit psychic. You could, you could have telekinesis. And all these guys are functions within your mind. These are electrical signals that the subconscious uses to pull in information. This is not hocus pocus. This is actually, these are scientific principles of energy interacting with vibration, picking up realities, com combining them and bringing them to your consciousness and you create them, all right? So be aware of that, you will have vision. So when I say you can talk to your subconscious, that's what you do. Right after you meditate, ask a question you wanna to answer to. You will get the answer in a form of a dream, a vision, a person, a place. Someone will come to you, deliver this very thing that you've been thinking about, desiring, and then you will know it is from your, sub, from your intuition or subconscious. Let me touch on another point. So how do we know when it, when it is our higher self speaking and not just our conscious mind speaking? Because if you go, say for example, you go buy a ticket or you go to be buy a scratch off, how you know that it's not your just conscious mind saying, let me get this ticket or is it is your subconscious mind really saying to you? Because the conscious mind is always, in act, is, is always active, it's always talking, it's always communicating, it's always thinking. It's, that is the egotistical part of your mind. It is always reason, it's always putting things together. So how can you tell the difference? Well, you tell the difference by this. The subconscious works differently than the conscious, and this is how it works. Your conscious mind will work with analytics, with reasoning. Your subconscious mind will goes, goes with feelings. That is the difference. So if you're in there and you want to buy a ticket or you're desiring to win money or whatever, and then you start to think and analyze and say, maybe if I go with this one and that one, that is your conscious. But if you go in that store and your eyes just boom, gravitate towards a certain ticket, boom, gravitate towards this, and you just feel it, then that is your higher self and your intuition. So in other words, when you start to think and analyze, it is not your subconscious, it is your conscious mind. So the subconscious and the intuition always goes with a feeling. You will just know. You'll go in there and your eyes, your, your subconscious will turn your eyes and will gravitate towards that, this, and you just feel it. When you use a conscious mind, you will start to reason, you will start to think, you will have to stay, maybe this one or that one, or should I go with this because it has my number. That, those, are, those are the differences that you will, you will, you will be able to uh, know and figure out, all right? So that is how everything works, guys. So the universe will always give you, it will always conspire to produce what you desire. You can ask your subconscious, as simple as that, and you will get the answer. If it is a number, you will get the number. And you must play that number because that number will come out. The time depends on your ability to be patient, but I guarantee you it will come out. Uh, some some individuals will have numbers they dream, and they come out 30 days, 2 days, 90 days, whatever. But just ask, after meditation, just you're talking to yourself, it is your higher self in communication with source energy, and it will give you the answer, and you can create, and you can manifest your whole life. But the first step you have to do and you have to be persistent is in those medit those affirmations. Listen, manifestation is just like getting good at anything. You have to practice it. You have it, but to become an expert manifester and are expert in manifesting, you have something you have to practice and work on. And you do that by your visualizations, your meditations your affirmations and then it will all start clicking for you so it's not just something that you're just going to do one day or two days and then expect results you get in you will get the results you put in you the effort you put in is the results you'll get so if you put the actual effort into learning to manifest to actually create your 
And guess what? You will reap your desires a lot faster. But if you go half-heartedly, then you will reap half-hearted results. That is how the universe works, guys. It works off of your emitted frequency. Here is this. Another key point I want to make. You have to be aware of your desires. Listen, you can, you can have a desire. You can think this is what you desire. But you have to know the difference between thinking what you want or actually knowing or feeling what you want. There's two different. See, you can think something in your mind that you want this, but you can feel differently in your heart. So that's what, and then if you do that, then you're not aligned. So you have to really know. You just can't think that's what I desire. You have to know in your heart that's what you desire. Because once you know what you desire, then the heart and the mind are aligned, and alignment produces energy flow. Energy flow produces clear channel to the universe to go out, send the law of attraction to work in, to bring it to you. So that's what you have to think about now. Think about, is this something that I really desire or is it something I think I desire? Okay? That is only you can answer that. So you will know the answer because you will feel it. Because if you really desire to be a millionaire or to win the lottery or do this, then your heart will be in it with you. And once your heart, remember I talk about the heart is the most powerful magnetic force emittance we have. It, it, it has a magnetic force emittance of four feet beyond our body. The heart, the heart, the heart is more powerful hundred times more magnetically powerful than the brain. So if your heart is in it and your brain is in it, then you are aligned and you can't be stopped. Okay? So that is how you will know if you, when you have your heart in it. Okay? To manifest the money, to manifest what you desire. When you have the heart and mind connection, then the manifestation will, 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 will happen for you. Okay? Whether it be money, life, career, advancement, once your heart is in it, that they say your heart's in it, you will win it, okay? So the heart and mind have to be in a total connection, and then you have to make sure that your desire, not what you think, but what you actually feel, will be the same as what you intend to manifest. And these keys will take you to desire to manifest the life you want, because now you know how the creation process works. Now it works, you know these, now you know that these quantum world exists, these little particles are, we call them quant quantum packets, energy, protons, electrons, neutrons, you know, now they exist. You know that they are these particles, they have intelligence, they are aware of you observing them, and your observation or consciousness commands these particles to create what you desire. Now your consciousness, your subconscious mind is the communicator, it is the one that goes out there and gets it. Your heart is the finisher because it has the emotion, it puts it together and it brings it in. The information is downloaded or sent to you by source energy, God, or the I am, or the quantum field. And that comes into your consciousness or your subconscious. The information then is produced into your brain as a thought, as a desire. This desire is expressed out to you. And then you manifest it through your thought. The heart creates the emotion. And boom, they come together. And then you'll get what you want. Okay? So those are my quick tips for the day for you guys. Any questions, just leave them down below. All right? Thank you, guys.